Hi, good morning children. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Welcome to Nirbhaya High School, Padmanaga Phase 2, Chintan. Digital Learning Classes to understand the subject easily. I am your English teacher, Astralakshmi Ma. Children, have you seen yesterday's video? I hope everyone have seen. So, yeah, children, what we have done yesterday, we have completed our lesson number 9. Yes, and we have completed the LUD questions and meanings. Okay, now we are going to do the speaking project. Everyone open your textbooks. Page number 11. In the 11, what is there? Extreme poor. Extreme poor means what? You should first think about a topic that is related to imagination or adventure. Write the topic in a slip of paper. Like this. Talk about an adventurous journey you have been or talk about an exciting dream you have been. Your teacher will collect this. You will be giving that. Each student will pick a slip. You know now? Sheets game. You will tell. Yes, all they will be writing in the chits and they will be putting in one ball and they will be musical chairs you will play or any game you are playing. You will be from the ball you will be taking one chit and you will be playing. No, like that you should play this video. Okay, children. That you should remember that you should simple sentence while sharing your thoughts. Plan in your head which points you want to see, speak about it and in what order. Speak freely and clearly. There is no need to be nervous. Okay, children. See ya, children. Anyone. Okay, whatever you know, whatever you are thinking about imagination or adventure, write it, what they should do. Okay, means you can tell tell about adventures, adventures you have done, imagine an adventure, like this you can write in a slip and you can play it. In the house with your friends also, nearby home friends also you can play it. Yes, like that you will play means what happens, your vocabulary part and speaking skills will be improved. Okay, now. What is this? Reading comprehension. Reading comprehension. What is children? Reading comprehension. Take out page number 12. Just I will read the passage. You also read after me. Then we will answer the question. Okay children. The Tyrannosaurus Rex, T-Rex, lived in La Media, which is present day western north america it lived in the upper Cretaceous period between 85 to 66 million years ago the t-rex is among the last non-flying dinosaurs here t-rex is what dinosaurs which can't fly this one of the largest land predators ever known the t-rex was nearly 40 feet long and 30 feet wide at the hips it weighed four to seven tons Scientists know from studying its fossils that the T-Rex had an enormous skull and a long massive tail to support its weight. Despite its hands being relatively small, they were powerful with two clawed digits like fingers. The hind legs of the dinosaurs were extremely extensive and mighty. The T-Rex possessed the most ferocious bite of an any land animal on earth. Its jaw was at least four feet thick and contained 50 to 60 teeth, many of which were up to nine inches long. Its strong teeth could remove flesh from its prey and cut it in its mouth. 500 pounds of flesh and bone in one bite. Also, there were rotting bacteria between its teeth, giving it a specific bite if it wandered but failed to kill prey. They would die of fatal infections anyway. In 1990, Sue Hendrickson, a famous fossil hunter, discovered the most complete fossil of a T-Rex skeleton ever found. 85% completely. Eventually, it was sold to the Field Museum of Natural History for a whopping $8 million. The museum spent over 25,000 person hours in removing rock from the Bones. Now, what were the arms of the T-Rex like? It was like with two cloud digits. Yes, they were powerful, and but it was like two, two cloud digits. Means with small fingers. Like fingers. Okay, children, write it from the sentence you write it out. What did Sue Hendrickson do with the fossil of T-Rex that she had found what he what she has done she has yes she has what she did she sold it out what she did she sold it out she sold it for 
for to the home she sold it to field museum for how many tell me 8 million dollars 8 million dollars write it sentence to learn from your book okay this is first one second one i'm just simply i'm telling you now find the plural forms of the given words from the passage dinosaur what is dinosaur dinosaurus dinosaurus next inch inches next tooth teeth what is the fourth one the meaning of the word fatal is fatal means what causing death causing death you can write here children disaster also okay you can write disaster also next fifth one match the words with the correct meaning present day the current period of the day first one goes to a second one rotting rotting means what decaying second one goes to c third one first one goes to b second one goes to c third one goes to whopping whopping means what very large so third one goes to a first one goes to first one is what children present day the current period of that time b second one rotting decaying third one whooping very large okay now check out the next page 14th page number second passage just i will read you only should answer the questions i will not answer okay read the passage and answer the questions given below the emperor was very sad after the queen's death he would often sit in his beautiful garden and watch a fleet of swans, a flock of ducks or a herd of deer that roamed about freely. The deer had been gifted by a king of a faraway country, but nothing seemed to cheer him up. A troop of dancers also performed at the court, but to no avail. Everyone wanted to help the emperor come out of his sadness, but nothing seemed to work. One day, a priest in the palace saw a few children playing with dolls. The dolls made shadows on the floor that appeared to dance while the children played. They tried to cast the shadows and laughed as they played. Dancing shadows of the dolls gave the priest of a brilliant idea. He hurried home and got down to work. The priest first made a puppet with cotton and painted it to look like the queen. Once the puppet was ready, he invited the emperor for a special puppet show. The emperor was not willing to come for the show, but finally agreed. The priest was an old friend. He accepted the invitation. The priest said, Your Majesty, the puppet show is especially meant for you. Kindly come. The emperor nodded. If you uh, insist, I will be there. Okay, so now, hear about the emperor and the priest. The emperor was very sad. Okay. What happened? He was sitting in the beautiful garden. He was seeing the children. Everything, whatever he is seeing, he is not feeling happy he is very sad then the priest when they were sitting in the garden and he was watching he saw that the children are playing in the by making the shadows then priest got an idea and went and made a puppet puppet means you know no children yes with the cotton they will be doing with the sticks they will be doing this see in the ATV you will be getting panchatantra the stories will be there no in that you can see the dolls are doing like this yes and they will be trying the threads for the fingers and they will be doing. Yes, that is the puppet. Okay. They have said. Now, answer the questions. What did the emperor see as he sat in his garden? What did he see, children? The children. A few children were playing with the dolls. A few children were. Emperor saw, sat in his garden. Priest saw. Yes, yes. What he said. Yes, write it out, children. He would often sit in his beautiful garden and watch a fleet of swans, a flock of ducks, or a herd of deer that dream roamed about freely. Yes, yes. See here, yeah, emperor and priest both are there. So I said the first answer what it is. What did the emperor see as he sat in his garden? He would find his seat in his garden. He would find beautiful garden. Watch a fleet of swans, a flock of ducks, or a head of deer that roamed about freely. Okay, next one. What did the priest see in the palace one day? Yes, here the answer comes. See, one day the priest saw a few children playing in with the dolls. Few children playing with the dolls. 
Now fill in the blanks with correct pronouns. Dash is dreaming. Ravi. He is dreaming. What is children? He is dreaming. He. Next one. Dash is dirty. The blackboard. It is dirty. C. Dash are watching TV. Mother and I. We are watching TV. Fourth one. What is children? The meaning of the word demise is death. Demise is death. D-E-A-T-H. Death. Fifth one. First, second, third one. See, first one, flock. Group. Brilliant. Very clever. Insist to not take no for an answer. First one goes to B. Second one goes to C. Third one goes to A. Understood, children? By this, we have completed our speaking project. Yes, passage one, passage two. Completed, children. First passage I have done. Second passage, you write your own. Okay? And speaking project also do. Any doubts you are having means what you will do in the live class ask. Okay, children? We will be having on Saturday, no? Fifth class children will be having on Saturday the live class. Ask me on that time. Okay, everyone? Do the work. Complete the work, children.